Adam Friedman, Rivals.com, here at the Rivals camp outside of Philly with none other, none other than one of the best offensive linemen in the entire country, Samson Okanlola, has a lot of offers, and uh, you're working on your official visits, is that right? Yeah, I'm working on it right now. Probably going to take like three in June and two in the fall. Okay. Uh, which three do you think are going to get one, get them in, in the June here? Um, School-wise? Yeah. Uh, it's not something I really want to say right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, which schools do you think are, are just doing a really good job getting your attention so far? Uh, schools are really on, on me on recruiting wise. You know, schools like Ohio State, Notre Dame, uh, Michigan, Michigan State, um, Oklahoma, I mean, et cetera, Penn yeah. State, all those. There's a lot of them, right? Yeah. So let, let's talk about uh, those first few. Ohio State was one of those first that you mentioned <clears> there. What is it about the Buckeyes that you like so much? Uh, I met with Coach Fry. You know, he just came in, new addition, and I already was talking to Ryan Day and all of that. You know, they got a real family thing coming down there, and that always been a pretty good program. Mm -hmm. How about uh, Notre Dame? You mentioned them as well. Notre What's Dame, you know, uh, I always mess with Freeman. You know, Freeman's a really cool dude. Um, uh, in hindsight, also, like, he knows his stuff. You know, he's been in the game for a while. So I'm really developed people. They've, they've just picked up a couple of big offensive line commits here pretty recently. Is that something that's caught your eye at all? Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, they're believing in the process. Mm -hmm. Okay. You mentioned Michigan, Michigan State as well. Uh, what those two programs, uh, what stands out to you about those guys? Um, two programs, you know, playing high level football, you know, I'm trying to win a ship, you know, Michigan State developing. Uh, Michigan development as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you mentioned Oklahoma as well. A fairly new coaching staff over there by Coach Biedenbaugh stayed on staff uh, from the previous regime. So uh, when you think about what he's done with his guys over there, what, what comes to mind? I mean, Biedenbaugh has put dudes in the league. You know, he's trained them, developed them, and I've overall just brought them up as a person. So mm -hmm. Biedenbaugh's a really cool person. Mm -hmm. Now, you haven't done many unofficial visits around, uh, but I think you did make it over to Penn State at one point. Is that right? Yeah. What was that experience like, and has that helped Penn State uh, put themselves in position for an official visit? Uh, it was overall a pretty good experience. You know, I went on a junior day, got to see the people around, got to see what other recruits were thinking, too. So, you know, the experience is pretty great. Mm -hmm. Your brother obviously signed with Pitt in the previous recruiting cycle. Um, you know, the Panthers have a leg up because your brother's over there? I mean, uh, I, not really, you know, it's all pretty even. I'll say, you know, I, I talked to the other coach, you know, I love his techniques, you know, he's a really good coach too. I mean, it really doesn't matter if my brother's there or not, you know, I'm just looking for the best school for me. Okay, okay, very good. Are you going to maybe take some unofficial visits before these official visits start? Uh, maybe, it really depends. Okay, um, any particular coach over there you feel like has done just a really good job creating a, a really good relationship with you or, or somebody you feel just more close with, I guess? Um... Not really something I'm trying to answer. <laughs> All right, really keeping your cards close to the vest. Uh, Samson Okanlola, thanks so much for your time. Looking forward to seeing how you do today. All right, for sure.